I just need another one. what up welcome to the we random podcast for our returning listeners y'all know what we do for the newbies this pod is where my husband and i discuss debate and drop gems on an array of topics from random categories hence we random i am your host savannah and with me always is my scintillating co-host Izzo on the beat what up what up what up y'all what's happening (laughs) you notice i give you something new every time yeah man you do great with that i'm about to run out of words to use for you yeah man no it's all right i'll find something (laughs) i got you all right so we're doing things a little bit differently we are recording for the second time so if you're tuning in from youtube we'll have the videos up for you guys to watch yeah but also i got my husband to join me in some mimosa time to film this yeah yeah so yeah. maybe it might loosen him up some i don't know man i don't need to be loose i'm always <laughs> well, oh pause <laughs> you Never always mind. loose nah. no you're not <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> don't put uh, that out there yeah for real well there was kind of you know a, a mixture of stuff going on you approached me with uh the Lori laughlin case which was her stealing an education for oh, her daughter. Right. Yeah, you know I'm terrible with names. I'm like, who? I'm like, the lady from Full House. That? The Full House lady. Oh, yeah, that's all you had to say. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Jesse's uh, wife. Oh, yeah, man. She 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 definitely got up. I, look, you, you going to talk about it or you want me to talk about it? Oh, go ahead because you the one dropped the gems on hey. me. You didn't drop that to me. So you, you right. fill in the folks. So I'll let you know my opinion all on right, it. So basically what she ended up doing was um uh she lied on applications and all this stuff for her for her kid or kids i don't know if it was more than one her daughter um, for her daughter uh, a lot about her playing sports um rowing she's on the rowing team I yeah believe. she's on the rowing team well she's not but that's how she got into- yeah she basically is a creative player fam like <laughs> <laughs> well no no she's yeah. not she's a creative player she's man. a fake like, player she she's not real and um, so, anyways, that and some other stuff. She she was spending a lot of money there to to try to get bribes, her, donations right. turning into bribes. Right, right, right. They and said as long as the the donations kept coming, their daughter would stay enrolled in mm-hmm, the school. Mm-hmm. So, judgment passed. Yep, she got um uh, eighteen months. I don't know. You told me something like yeah. 60 I think she days, got eighteen. She got eighteen months in jail. And, um, but the catch, well, I ain't gonna say catch. The main thing to that is she can pick whatever jail she wants to go. She, <laughs> that's her, that's her choice. It said, uh, that was her a jail of that her choosing. Bruh. What? <laughs> her choosing? What? <laughs> Man. She, I would find with the most four star. Bruh. That's like easy. Send her to the platform. Man, I remember be that movie off of Netflix. Was it Netflix? That jail be cake. Whatever one I went to, be chill. She needs to go to the one that Martha Stewart was at. Man. But that's what I said. When you told me about that, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but when Martha Stewart went down for her inside trading, because she had so many homes across the US and she spent time or equal amount of time at all of them. She got to choose where she could go and serve her time, but it had she had to have a residence in the area. Right, right. So she chose the home where I think the prison she went to, there was only like between 16 or 25 inmates. <laughs> this is It was a real, pre- I mean, it's a prestigious area. Yeah. So it's like, there's basically no crime. If there is crime, the people who are there are really, you know, committing the same kind of crimes that she did. And they're just, it's almost like yeah. a cakewalk. But like she yeah. said, she used to get in trouble for stealing, you know, salt packets because the food there was so bland. And y'all know Martha Stewart. So it wow. wasn't a cakewalk for her. But yeah, man, I would I would hit up Martha. I'd be like, look, fam. Yeah, where you go? <laughs> send yeah. me there. But 
apparently what's been happening in the media because of her sentencing, it Mm. brought back the story about Tanya McDowell, where she got five years for sending her five-year-old son to the next district over to the one that she should have been in. Right, right. And she for stealing an education or first degree larceny for stealing the education. And she was homeless at the time that she enrolled her child. So technically she didn't have a residence wherever she parked is where she was at. Mm -hmm. So what she used to do was sleep somewhere at night, but she couldn't be in their daytime. Sometimes they'd sleep in the car. Sometimes they'd go to homeless shelters. It really just depended. So she didn't have a residence, but anyway, Mm -hmm. they gave her five years for that. Obviously, it's in a different state. It's not California, but yep, the conversation was right. The tax bracket thing was privilege, right? The privilege and social influence and notoriety, how that plays a role in the justice system and how it's unfair to the lower class people. Because sometimes you right. can pay for better representation, but that doesn't necessarily mean that. You should be getting so many more years over somebody else because Felicity Hoffman was Uh the other person that went down for this. There's like 50 other people, but Mm -hmm. the other star that went down for this. And I believe she was in Sex in the City. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. I think so. Mm -hmm. The redhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the girl you're talking about. But anyway, she did the same thing with her daughter and she only got 14 days. See, this is what I'm saying. All right, so I'm gonna say this. Fourteen days. This might start an argument, <clears throat> not with 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 you, but we've had enough of those. Yo, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one that I think would be, um, no, maybe not. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nah, you know Speak what? It. Forget it. Forget it. All right. So, is it okay from a from a um like law standpoint, you know what I mean? I don't think it's I don't think that at all is fair. It should be just across the board, straight up. Whatever this charge is, it should go no matter yeah, yeah, your previous, pay and all that. Previous encounters with the law shouldn't oh, come into play. It should just be straight up. But like if I'm out here getting this mugger, I, I want to feel like <laughs> I want to feel like I got some juice. Like, hey, bro, you know, like, no, fam. You, <laughs> you know don't want to mess it up I got, for you in the future. I got so much money. Like, I know that has to feel. It doesn't but feel good being on the other side of it. But to be on that side and have that kind of power, man. Okay, but this is the thing, too, that there was, the conversation was also because Tanya McDowell was a black woman right and of course Lori laughlin and felicity hoffman are white women oh yeah no doubt so tanya mcdowell also had a drug charge previously to that and then right after she was charged oh, she got another drug charge so they're just saying that her sentence was also as hard as it was as harsh as it was because of those things, so right, right, no, no, no. Question. I agree with you. No there are question. two different types of uh, charges. It's not like she stole educations prior to this, and it's the problem is with the school system, right? Right. The fact that you have to go to another district to get a better, better education is not fair to the families who live in mm-hmm. the neighboring district, right? So instead of punishing people and putting charges like this like that's a felony Mm -hmm. for her so now she can't apply for certain jobs she'll never be able to pull herself up out of a certain situation just trying to get her her, her kids into a better school district and you got to look at i think with some of the laws there there is no i guess you have to be straight up with it but it doesn't seem like unless it's brought before a jury it doesn't seem like it's and that still ain't even fair because it some went, people can't really trial, some, I'm saying to, some people can't judge. some people can't even what you call it like um like empathize with the situation like okay this I understand what could be happening here right and so it's like the the woman is obviously trying to have her child to have a better life get you know what I mean the lack of empathy 
Yeah, I just feel like it's like do you get numb to it at a certain point when you're a judge and all you're doing is dealing with criminals day not in just and day the out? Judge though, even I'm talking about the jury, even from that. The standpoint. judge is the one that hands out the sentencing. Yeah, I know, but, but I don't the jury... think there was a jury trial for for her oh, Tanya yeah. McDowell. I don't think there was. There might have been. I really didn't read it, and it happened so many years ago. Mm. I just read the points on it. So if anybody knows, please hit us up. Let us know. Yeah. But from what I gathered. It was basically the judge's ruling on it. Um, I don't think she really contested it because she did what she did. She did have a lawyer, but obviously it was a court-appointed right, lawyer. Right, 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 right. And that's another thing. I feel like when you get a court, a court-appointed lawyer, that they kind of have a tendency to be so overwhelmed with cases themselves that they can't give the right amount of attention to each individual. So that also is just like cut and dry for them. This is the best I could get you because I know I don't have to go into a long argument with the judge. It's not going to go to trial. This works better for me than it does really for you. Right, right. You kind of just got to deal with it. So that's another thing. But overall, people are talking about police reform. I told this to you a little bit earlier in the evening that it's the whole justice system that needs it. Judges can kind of more or less hand out punishments and they can be as severe as it can be within certain parameters. But sometimes there are other circumstances, extenuating circumstances that allows them to push past that barrier. And sometimes those extenuating circumstances are previously convicted charges. Right, right, right. Previous crimes. But they have to be they have to be they have to be put out there like that. Like they have to say she's a repeat offender. So because she's a repeat offender, then she deserves this type of time. Right, 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 right. I mean it. I just want to feel like I got the juice though. If I got that kind of money, <laughs> I understand like I, everything. But the only I, people every... who really have the juice are judges. No, I know they got. But come on, man! Like you think you a black somebody's... man in America? Even if you have Jay Z's no. money, you don't think a judge at that po- look at Juicy, I, Juicy no, 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 this is His what situation is coming up. You don't think they're gonna want to make an example? Out of the black man and be like, don't matter how nah, rich nah, nah, you nah, are. Nah. Look, 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 this is what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to come from like the the whole black and white, you know, situation. That part is already understood. It's like a, it ain't even like what they what, what's, what's the saying they say, uh, elephant in the room. Like, bro, it, it's like hella elephants in there. <laughs> it ain't just one <laughs> it's elephant. A circus. It's like a circus. <laughs> so that. That part is not where I'm trying to come from. I'm just trying to think if I was in her shoes, not being a black man, not being none of that, just being in her shoes. Whose shoes? Tanya or Lori? Uh, um, Tanya's shoes. Okay. Bruh, I want to know, I'm paying y'all all this money. Y'all better get me a deal. I want something. Oh, you talking about Lori Laughlin then? Tanya is the black mom. Not Tanya, my bad. Lori. I want to get my money's worth. I want to feel like, all right, I got a good shot here. I want to be able to go to another prison and pick my choice. <laughs> I got I'm, I'm looking. Negotiate I'm on, for me. From me as a black man looking at it, it's like that's fine. I know my people's don't get that kind of opportunity. Right. But if I'm on that I side, didn't even know I that want was that. an option, bro. If I'm on her side, I want that opportunity. <laughs> I want it all day long. I want to be able to pick and choose where I go. Thank it's you. It's not fair, but I'm like, uh. Life ain't fair, fam. That's how <laughs> I'm a fi- it, and that's how don't I'm tell a fi- me you can't because it was negotiated uh, before. And that's how I'm gonna feel at the moment. And so I think maybe maybe the focus, and this is not trying to get deep on the conversation, but I think the focus should always be to try to better yourself. And in her situation, she was trying to do that for her daughter. And Man. I think that's what makes it so far. I don't think she should have had any prison. I think that shit should have just been done with. Because the scale that she did it on compared to old girl scale. Is retarded. 
Lori Scale and she okay. be doing it, coming up with a whole. In all fairness, she played a whole sport. <laughs> in in all fairness, she didn't play that sport. She didn't get the 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 grades, and she wasn't intelligent enough because they interviewed a lot of her peers, and right. a lot she's already made a name for herself in social media. As far as being dumb, or you mean just as far as like popularity wise? Right, popularity oh, okay, wise, yeah. but. I mean, I didn't watch any of her videos, but from what you can gather from what was floating across the Internet, everybody was wondering how she got into that school because it's really rigorous. Right, right. I want to say it's UCLA. Oh. I'm pretty sure it was UCLA. Again, somebody yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm about 99.9% .9 correct, I think. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, But... Because it's so hard to get in there, it's more of an exclusive type school. So not only did they steal an education, and I'm using air quotes, people, if you're not watching on YouTube, um, she stole a position on the rowing team for somebody who potentially could have been there in her place who could have contributed to the team and got themselves into a better school. You know what I'm saying? Versus yeah, oh someplace else they could have been. So when you have to look at it that that way, it's like, yeah, you guys kind of lost a lot of money by donating right, right. to the school right, for your right. daughter to be there. But she wasn't even doing what she should have been doing to get in there in the first place. So why would you do it? It's all for clout. That's it's crazy. the prestige of it. It's so that people can you can tell people, oh, yeah, she goes here. Oh, yeah, yeah she's yep. She's yeah. doing great. Yeah. But it's so foul because it's like it's all it's hey, all man. for looks. Hey, I say it was a it's a terrible situation. I think the sister, she shouldn't have been charged at all. Um about that situation. She she could have been maybe reprimanded a different way. Another but. mom was charged for the same crime mm. in I wanna say Ohio. And they made her pay $30,000 restitution because she had two daughters that were doing it. And they say normally they those aren't even arrestable things. They don't arrest people for that type right, of thing. Right, right. They normally don't. So it's like, hey, so what made you do it? Something. Right. What made you do it? Like they was I think a it, fine is perfect. They made an example find, out of her. We have say, people who's going to our schools over here with our kids that don't even live in the same town. Oh, man, I already know that. That's been going on forever, though. People have been that's doing exactly that. That's exactly what the judge said. My people have done that over time. You know, it's like, hey, you in a certain district, you want your kids to get a better education. Man, it's movies about, oh, man, and right. ATL, old boy from ATL was trying to go to the other this school. This is stuff that Bruh. happens everywhere it's, it's, everybody can relate everybody's thing. either done it or know somebody who's done it or help somebody do it but i think it what it was was it was an, it was um it was kind of like an example being set like hey if y'all want to do this and thinking about doing this five years in jail is what you're looking at well i think what happened was the guy who was helping them do all of this stuff mm -hmm. got busted and so they had to look at everybody he was dealing with. And that's how everybody went down. That's how the 50 plus people went down because he got in trouble. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, to try and probably get out of it somewhat, he probably flipped on so many people or they took all his stuff and just started investigating and then they popped everybody else too. So, but I think it's a finable offense i don't feel yeah, like no jail question. time is required right. because you're taking the right, kid right. you're taking the parent away from the child and you never really want to do that ever but because when the mom tanya went to jail her son had to stay with her mom say her mom wasn't in a position or she had no family this boy would have went into child protective services so there's a whole lot of ripple effects that could have happened with that. And right. it could have been far worse right. than it was. But he excelled. She said she would have did it a thousand times over. So she's not regretful of that. But again, it's way too harsh. Jail time, even yeah. for Miss Full House. I don't think jail time is. I mean, <laughs> they already lost a lot of money. And now this girl's yeah. kicked out of school. Yeah. She's shamed. Yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. I mean, come on. Just. Make them do something. Make them pay. Make them 
make an infomercial, do something. Whatever. Yeah, something, but it definitely, you know. That's an extreme. Why, why like even? Why even punishment. put her in the jail? Bro? Stealing an education. Why are you gonna put her in jail when you basically just was like, "Hey, that's the pick dumbest wherever, shit I've heard." Pick wherever you want to go. <laughs> what? What is the punishment okay. that I'm in jail? But I'm literally like house arrest, please. <laughs> it's already a whole pandemic out here. People, at what the do crib I need anyway. to do to turn my house into a prison? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> hey. Like, watch That's her come the deal up, watch, of a watch century come up right with some kind of, some Other kind than of Jeffrey loophole. Epstein's deal. Watch her come up with some kind of loophole, man. Something, figure something out to like. When, they when probably is she, when is she supposed, already have when, a prison when is she? When is she supposed to go? You the like, one told me about this. You should know I that. thought you looked it up some. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know all the, all, all the facts. You know what I mean? Look, man, I don't. A lot, these podca- of the a lot of these podcasts out here, <laughs> he what they do, some other what they do is they get all the facts. Y'all coming here for all the facts? I ain't got all the facts. No, all right? you guys come for the entertainment. Yeah, I some got facts. some of it, and then y'all going to have to do some homework. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you just enough. Yeah, yeah, just enough to, you know what I mean, get you going and then be like, okay, if I want to find out more, I'll just, you know, I'll dive in deeper and figure that out. So, anyways, um, but with this, what knowing that judges don't have like very many checks and balances, I feel like that's something that you know we need to look into. Not we, we, but the people. When I say we, like we, the people, look like on some what? constitution stuff. Because like what, I had no idea, power? in order for a judge to get fired, that the whole Senate and legislation had to to get involved with that the legislation. Or what the it, legislation. <laughs> Which the legislation. Oh, man. I'm glad we First caught that. First of all, it's 1230 hey, in the I'm morning. I'm glad we caught the legislation. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. That's one. That's one mimosa in. That's one. All uh, right. But nah, so the legislation have, yes. and the Senate. Go ahead. They need to vote them out, and it needs to be a majority so like they I said be earlier, bipartisan, I think, or something like that. I, no, I don't know. Bipartisan might just be for passing law, but anyway, that's still maybe the same thing. Yeah, I think so. It needs to be a majority vote. Okay, yeah. It doesn't have to be unanimous. It just needs to be majority. But I'm like, that's kind of hard to come by. That's a lot of work. They already do so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who do so much? The Senate. You see my face? It has to go. Yeah, I, Who? I see your face. They don't do nothing, man. Right, but I'm saying that's why, like, so many corrupt judges can sit for it's life. It's like a podcast terms. for them every day at work. It's like a podcast. <laughs> we're just gonna sit here and talk about my points, your points, and, and then come we're gonna to go no home. resolution. And we're gonna go to lunch later. We'll talk about it again. <laughs> then we're gonna go on vacation for a while. No man. recess, bro. They got a freaking recess every few weeks they got three-day weekends all the time that's his job to have too much money they make too and then the longer you're there the more money you make no wonder why these guys like stay till they die like 80 get some younger people in there (laughs) man get out of there like you can't retire like everybody can't drive anymore sir bro have you not saved any money (laughs) (laughs) you've been in 20 years i feel like as soon as the point at which they can no longer drive themselves they can't they can no longer have a driver's license because they cannot pass the seeing eye with the seeing eye exam (laughs) man number two lord (laughs) they can't (laughs) pass that they need they need to go (laughs) they need to go Yo, nothing against the judge that just passed. Oh, at rest in paradise for I don't remember her name. Um, the Supreme Court judge, uh, but she was eighty seven, fam, eighty seven, and still working. <laughs> yes, bro, she she had cancer. She didn't have to be there. No, she could have just been like, you know what? I didn't did my thing. I've been here since. When did she get in there? Um, she been around. I think she was born. She was born in the forties, so she didn't seen a lot, man. She didn't seen a, she didn't seen the Holocaust. She didn't she seen done a, been through a lot, bro. She didn't seen a civil rights movement. She didn't seen slavery. She didn't seen it all, man. So, but yeah, the Senate and them, they don't be doing nothing, man. 
They ain't gonna fire they, no they judges. They don't do nothing. They, They're not gonna do. It that. takes so long. They're gonna be like, to oh, that's a, so minor. They bruh. need a better a better way. Now they do have <laughs> I'm just gonna judges say, I gotta above say one, judges I, that are supposed to kind of you know keep an eye out. Yeah, right. but obviously they don't. And if that's a, they give them the power to fire these dudes. Bruh, they got, um, yeah. Well, no, that's that's a good. I mean, that's a good point for them to do that. Give them the juice, so that way they ain't gotta go back and forth. But damn, think about it. We got a whole situation out here in these streets. Pandemic in these streets. Yeah. And they can't even give. They can't even pass stimulus check. <laughs> and it's been since <laughs> you March. You still talking about the stimulus? Bro, that stimulus check. Look, not only for us is that a great thing, but just for a lot of people, man. I just read that nine million people did not get that stimulus check. Still, and the IRS ain't doing Nathan. I know. That's what I'm saying. Even that. It's like, yo, what's the deal with them checks, brother? And then the the other problem I got with it every time is the fact that we are bailing out at like we bailing out all these businesses. When major, I say we, I'm talking about we the people because of the tax dollars, all that good stuff. But when it comes to just hey man, you know, go ahead and scratch our backs right now. We need a little bit of scratch. Nah, fam. We done mm. gave y'all twelve hundred dollars nah. already. Yeah. So. And it's just so sad seeing the other countries out here, and they thriving, man. They out there, people getting back to work, and yeah, they and they providing for and they providing for them, man. So I, I'm just saying, when it comes to the Senate and all that, and everybody got because they, Americans don't want to stop. Doing everybody what they got their reservations. It's the it's the Republican. You see that BS that happened in Florida, in what? the Florida Target, where the people were protesting, take your masks off, and they're walking through Target with no masks on. See, this is what I'm Them saying. Them damn morons. This is this is the thing. Even if even if the pandemic was fake, <laughs> I'm talking about all the way fake. <laughs> it ain't real. Nothing about it. Ain't nobody dying at all. It's just they putting in numbers. Ain't nobody dying. It ain't no disease out here. No 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 illness. I don't understand why these people still don't have any kind of courtesy just to look out for someone else other than themselves. They can't be big enough to say, you know what, I'm going to wear this mask because it could be potentially offending another person that could potentially get sick or whatever. Because now you're asking for people to be selfless. And if there were more selfless people out in the world, Bruh, so we would have been done with this whole thing already. Bruh, it's so ridiculous. Common courtesy is so short in the United States. It's ridiculous. Look at where we live. Look at the stuff we go through. People want what they want when they want it and they don't care. They pass lines, boundaries, push them as much as they can because they want what they want. They don't yeah. care what you want. They don't care what's good for you. It's what they want. Yeah, I mean, it's a sad part, though, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, I mean, I didn't know they was doing that. I've seen a lot of stupid videos, but that is retarded. Take off your mask. All right, guys, hey, <laughs> let's do this. Party. This is fake. This is all not really happening. Oh, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Look, I, I'm, hey, I'm saying I think the numbers... Are inflated, absolutely. Yes. Do I believe that it's people that are not actually dying from the virus that are being marked as dying from the Absolutely. But right. am I going to sit here and say it ain't a real sickness? Nope. I ain't going to say that because I've seen it. I've seen it. You've seen it. I've seen it. So I've seen it attack certain people's bodies that were ill, some people that were actually healthy or perceived to be healthy. And uh, it's taking people out of here, man. So, bro, just just roll with it. You fighting it so bad because there's something about your rights. I hear all this stuff about your rights all the time. And it's like, is that the way to, to, to even, like, bro, why are you so selfish? Because Americans are selfish. Hmm. <laughs> I mean... 
overall, when you take a step back and you look at it, all of the complaining is coming because they don't want to. And people keep emphasizing it's not for you, it's for your neighbor. It's for everybody Mm -hmm. else around you. Mm -hmm. Not only does it make other people feel secure, but it protects other people. Even if it's a fraction more, it still helps. Yep. But anyway, we always end up back on the Rona. Yep. Oops. The the CV. The CV. (laughs) Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. But um, that's enough of that. So let's just wrap that up there. Yeah. So next topic. All right. So we went down, y'all. Production crashed. Hey, man, look, we were in the middle of the podcast last night and wham, power went out. Storm. Thunderstorm. Yep. And uh, as black folk, would do all the time, no matter what. <laughs> Even though I knew the bill was paid, <laughs> I looked outside to make sure everybody's power was out. <laughs> like, uh, let me see, man. Hold on now. I had to call somebody right quick. What y'all doing cutting my power off? But nah, everybody on the block was was out, man. It was uh, it was uh, yeah. Bad we storm got out that here. uh tropical storm that ran through. Louisiana, and we got you know the Oscars. It's been raining for us for the last three days, but anyway, yeah. we're here back again, y'all, for y'all. Yep, yep, yep. So that we can get through this, and we were talking about Cardi B and Offset yep. and their divorce. So we got some clarification from Cardi because the last episode we were talking about it being his infidelity because that's the rumors that were swirling. Right. She put all that to bed. And said it was their constant bickering and arguing and not seeing eye to eye. And she was just tired of having to go through that, which understandable. You know, you're spending 90% of your time with this person and 85% of it is arguing. Not saying that's exactly what she said, but it's what it sounded like. I mean, it's no longer enjoyable to be around that person. Oh, no. Yeah, that ain't fun, man. But you had your... ear to the street sir and they were talking yeah yeah my plug my (laughs) plug was like uh let's get down to the real realness (laughs) real issues at hand no i mean um this is a is a rumor y'all this ain't 100 percent fact but uh i'm sure the fact checkers out there will find out but word on the street is some of um Offset's homies or one of his friends or some of his friends are coming to his uh, defense saying that um, it was an issue with the song, WAP, that Offset was like, yo, hey, uh, I don't think this kind of music is a good look. So before the song was getting ready to get released, he was trying to tell her, hey, I don't think you should put out a video. I don't think this song is the one for you. I think you should try to switch up your, your image a little bit, clean it up. You know, you're a married woman. you on the boss level right now. You ain't really got to be dropping music like that. You know, it, it is kind of strip club music, but you don't need to be dropping that, you know. And she did it anyway. The video came out. He won't fill in the video. And they got into a large argument based on that as well. Along with the other stuff they got going on, obviously. But the WAP. <laughs> Apparently, it, it played a part, man. That's what the word on the street is. I don't know how true that is, but if that's the case, hey, man, we got to give each other kudos on that because we was talking about that Absolutely. before. Absolutely. That so. was episode four. We yep. went through how to vet a mate. Mm-hmm. And this is exactly why you need to know. Who you are marrying. Know who or you even, are with. Or even, you, yeah, even who you dealing with. Not even the marriage part only. but Before yeah. you get too deep. And sometimes exactly. too deep is just labeling that person boyfriend or girlfriend. Or even mm-hmm. just seeing this person, you know, without the squad. Now I'm just going to focus my time on you. Right, right. Yeah, man. That, that right there is... Uh, I can see that happening. I can see that argument taking place, though. Real talk. I can see that. That's the thing about it. I can actually see him having a conversation where, like, yo, that ain't a good look. 
I don't think you should be putting that out. You know what I mean? And um, I mean, come on, man. She don't got to. She really doesn't. She really don't have to do that, you know, in, in order to sell records. But I guess that's just what she felt she needed to talk about. So I mean. <laughs> Even Megan Thee Stallion, you don't have to do that to sell records. No, but, but that, that's the climate and sex sells, and you know, I get if, so if tired anything, of that, I think man. they knew. If anything, it was the controversy was going to drive streams. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's exactly what it did because it was like everybody was like, "Did you hear the song? The song is so crazy." So everybody went to go and listen to it, and after you listen to it once, you almost have to listen to it a second time. With yeah. the lyrics to really see if you heard what you heard. It's like a. I'm gonna be real with you. I I kind of like, um, I look at it like it's a drug for these people. Not even just for the artists, just for the even the consumer. You know, it's like give me the most outrageous thing so I can talk about. And then even to the media now, it's like we want the tea. We want whatever's juicy, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever's going to get people talking. So now, it's only teaching the youth and the young kids and the people growing up to top the... Be better, be be more extreme. That's what we were talking about in the WAP episode. Be more extreme than the last person. That's what we were talking about in the WAP episode. That is the points we were making. So if y'all didn't listen to episode four... Go ahead and do that. If yep. you didn't listen to the WAP episode, go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. Just in case y'all don't think we know what we're talking about. I mean, yeah. we kind of know what we're talking about. So yeah, we're just, just... going to go give us a round of applause for that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a whole nother situation that we spoke about before. Just to go and further emphasize, we know what we're talking about. Kanye, Kanye and Kim. Z. Yep. Back in the headlines because Kim's camp is talking that she is already got the divorce planned out. She's just waiting for Kanye's new bipolar episode to kind of calm down before yeah. she serves him up with the yeah. good old papers that she's done a few times before. Yeah, well, I mean, right now, like most recent stuff that you got uh, Kanye talking about, he's out back out tweeting again. <laughs> him, and Tr- him and Trump, fam. <laughs> him and Trump be like, hey, yo, <laughs> they like tweet warriors, man. They... But anyway, he been saying stuff about uh, the music industry, and uh, and he's the new Moses. He did. He did say he was the new Moses. Uh, but I don't think he meant that. I hope he didn't mean that in the literal terms. I think maybe he meant that more influential. Maybe no, like metaphorical. Okay. Like he might be the Moses of the music industry, and that's why he kind of went on that rant. And I think that's what more or less he was alluding to. He wants oh, to yeah. set his oh, people yeah. I free. Don't, I definitely don't believe. Lead them that. out of bondage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Type, you yeah. know. No, I, I get, I get where he was coming from. Um, but yeah, man, he's basically on the music tip right now, and he's trying to, he's trying to educate certain people about the industry and also at the same time he's trying to elevate people to to start to either negotiate contracts or get out of contracts figure out how to get out of contracts and he's just trying to set a new standard of contracts in general i actually got a pdf of what he was saying about what the new contract should look like for artists and he's talking some game man like Basically trying to give a lot more artists and content create well not content creators but artists <laughs> uh the uh recording artists and producers the um more freedom when it comes to you know I mean the 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 music and everything like that and when I say freedom I don't necessarily just mean creative freedom but you know choices con- yeah yeah choices money wise tours. Uh, how the splits go down, how much money goes. Manage and, themselves. Yeah, yeah. how much almost, money goes into all less. of this stuff. Right. So They're not being um, dictated to. I think it's fire what he's talking about, about about the music stuff, um, for sure. He, now, he is getting some backlash from a lot of other artists, 
Uh, there's some artists that are saying he's kind of hypocritical. He did some things back in the day. I think Mace was bringing something up about something that happened back in the day between him and Mace. Hit Boy, which is another producer, uh, he just produced the Nas album uh, and some of the stuff on Big Sean's new album. So it, there's kind of a little bit of issue there. But Hit Boy did come back and say, hey, man, you know, I still do like what Kanye is doing. So I think the overall consensus is like, yo, Kanye is is talking that talk and he is in a position right now to do that. But uh, one one more thing I want to add is that he did say today, which is kind of good because we're redoing the podcast stuff today. <laughs> um Bless that him. he is releasing all of the original masters to all of the artists that were signed under his good music record label. Oh. Every artist that he ever had, that would include... So he's leading by example. That would include Big Sean. That would include... Uh, that includes um, Common. That includes oh, wow. uh, Tiana... Taylor. Uh, Tiana Taylor. That includes... Uh, Pusha T, he got he got a slew of artists. So he had a squad. I can't remember everybody on. Good well, music. shout out to Ye for doing but that. That's a lot of artists that he's releasing the the masters to, which will allow them and to a lot make of them money. Had big records allow them to really make money off of their catalog. And Big Sean had a lot of huge work records yep. under Good Music, uh, along with Common and other artists, man. So and. Uh, what you call his album was released on good music. Uh, Pusha T's last album, the one where he was going in at Drake. So that whole back, uh, not back to back, but that whole diss record was on his album. <laughs> so that that's money, that's stuff he can keep. You know what I mean? He can he can license it, do all that stuff because he owns it, and that's what it's all about. The ownership is the key to really making that money in the music industry for sure, and um, other industries as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ownership overall, but. Anyway. Shout out to Kanye for that. He yep. is not sounding cuckoo at all in my mind right now. He is <laughs> on, he's on par with you know where he should be. But the whole situation with him and Kim, Kim, I, I'm, I just, I have a strong feeling in my heart and my gut that Kim Kardashian has ulterior motives with Kanye. And it is not fully and seriously a love type situation. It may be love, like a friendship love, but an in love, I don't buy that not one bit. I don't buy that either one of them are absolutely, truly in love with each other. I think that they're in love with the idea of them being together. But I don't, I don't get any kind of vibe from them that lets me know that they, they vibe like that. Same thing with. With Jay and, and Beyonce, I'm being real. I don't get, I just don't get the the feeling, you know what I mean? Like, they really rock with each other like that. Like I don't hear them really talk on interviews together. I don't really hear them interacting with each well, other in that I, kind of manner. I can't. I, I, it's just a feeling that I I think I because they've always been so, as in regards to Jay and <clears throat> Bay. Um, Dope, I, power couple, great. I love Jay and Beyonce. I'm this yeah, is no, no disrespect. There's no it's just on my, that. Just I just my, think they've always been so quiet about it, and they've even came out and said they don't discuss it. So I don't even think they want to do the PDA either. No, no need for the PDA. I'm not saying, man, you don't do PDA like that. Nah, man. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that ain't got nothing to do with. <clears throat> You know our relationship. People. But we don't know, know how other people could perceive that either. And when you're constant, when you're on their level and in the eye on that level, I think privacy is valued. So how they are behind closed doors might not necessarily be. And you know uh, what I mean. We're not in no these clothes. parties. It ain't no. Clothes. We don't know. We don't see if she yeah. really be dancing up on him and giving him like lap dances in the club. And you know, me personally, never found Jay Z attractive at all. I mean, maybe he's the type of person that grows on you, and she he grew Man. on her. But I mean, I I don't I don't know. I can't speak to that. Let's to just, the let's Kim think. and Kanye thing, yeah, I think I think that's that's solid to enough to say. Yeah, I think Kim is yeah. more involved in appearance and their image overall. I think they've kind of been groomed that way. Yeah. So I think marrying Kanye was on a tag for the 
oh, it's good for your image also. It'll catapult you to another level, you know, and this and that, give you more opportunities. I think that also went and got involved in her decision to marry him and be with him, right. or even date him. Right, right. So, yeah, I believe that. But I have another question for what? you. So, in the wedding vows, right, mm-hmm. most generic wedding vows or most people's vows is always for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health. Yeah. To death do you part. Correct. Right. And Kanye is bipolar, which is a mental illness, which is a sickness. No doubt. So walking away from the marriage because you can no longer deal with his mental illness. Mm. Because you're going to say it's his outbursts, but he can't control that. That's part of his mental illness. Mm -hmm. That's like wanting to throw away a child who has Tourette's. No doubt. They can't help it. He can't help it. Even if he has medication, who's to say that he still, like, why he doesn't take it? It might make him not be creative. It might make Uh him feel like a robot. It might make him feel dead inside. So, yeah, I don't want to take it. I'd rather try and manage it myself. Or whatever the case may be. No doubt, no doubt. So when you take your vows, right, do you think that there are limitations to that as far as in sickness and in health goes? Is When it comes to mental health, do you think it's ever okay to walk away? Or do you think that that's something that people should consider before they go and take that step? Like they should, they should consider that. I mean, can I change I, this person's diapers if the case calls for it in a yeah, year yeah, from the, now? The, the diapers, the diapers part. Like I already <laughs> told you, I, you, <laughs> you know, were I very weird that. when you told me. I that. already told you. You told like, me that man, super just, early on. I'm like, look, that's how I when when I know I can do that, <laughs> then I'm like, all right, we, yeah, we. Can. <laughs> that, that's Excuse that's me. the that's the that's the that's the. That's the the tipping point for me on marriage. Like, can I change a diaper? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was we weird go. how you even came we to go that. Ahead. We go ahead. You randomly said that one day. You were just looking at me smiling like, I could change your diapers. Like, first of all, I don't wear diapers. See, and that, that was my point. I was like, you know what? I'm good. Yep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this thing. Mm-hmm. Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. But seriously, it's... uh. What do you that, think? That's... It for me, I, I think it's just um, I would never, or I I didn't um, want to get married until I was absolutely no questions asked. Was at that kind of comfort level, no matter what was to take place, that I was gonna be willing to stay and do what I had to do. So I'm already at that point. I don't know if everybody does that when they get married. I mean, that's how I kind of always felt. Yeah, I, don't I don't know if that's every... because I'm a cancer yeah. or <clears throat> what, but uh, like I've always felt like if you're not willing to ride it out into the end, regardless of circumstance, yeah. because that's essentially what the vow is saying, yeah, regardless yeah, yeah, yeah. of circumstances, can you go with this person to the end of the road? Yeah, you got doubts, like especially when it comes to something happens and all that, like, you know, um, that's that's all. I mean, I I tell you right now, it's scary to think if anything was ever happened to either one of us, Lord forbid, these kids. Oh my <laughs> lord, man, I'll be sitting here like, man, I'll be having anxiety attacks. It ain't nothing even happened yet. I'll be like, oh my god, I got, I got a whole other sixteen years to go. Damn. Nah, but for real. Uh, you just got to think about all that stuff. And I, I just think that a lot of people, unfortunately, when they're getting married, especially when you look at how many people are getting divorced, I don't think they may be thinking about those things. Uh, not not to the level of severity that they should be. I think they're just like, hey, we're just going to go with the flow. We're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> the moment it ain't fun, it's like, I'm way over my head. I got to get out of here. Well, you got to think about and like divorce happens. Yeah, so. you got to think about when it's not fun and sexy anymore. And the times ain't going to always be sweet. <laughs> it's going to be ups and downs. You don't stay downs. fun and sexy forever. Yeah, man. I yeah. mean, obviously, you can feel that way. Right. But 
to the general public, they're going to be like, not sexy anymore, Grandpa. <laughs> Put <Yeah>. it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's but, one of those things I think that you're right. A lot of people got to look at. I personally feel differently mm-hmm. about Kim if this divorce goes through and that's the reason behind it because I can't necessarily... I mean, they're going to use... They're going to... But see, the thing about it is they're going to use all of his episodes. I don't care. It's an episode. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying they, they're going to... They're going to use all his episodes to get sympathy. Like, who could deal with a person that's so... That says this. Oh, the, I would love this, to be... And do I this. would love to be the PR on the other side. Like, oh, so what you're saying is we can't deal with people with mental illnesses then. There's a cap for that. But, you know, I'm going to tell you the switch, the switch up on that is... How about dealing with a woman that puts out her body and does all these things that the man doesn't want that to be seen for his children. Oh, and that's causing his episodes too? And maybe causing him to have additional stress that he (laughs) didn't even know he was going to have. Kanye needs to put us on his team, bro. Publicists call me up. Call us up. (laughs) Yeah, we got y'all. Switch it up on him. Chris Jenner got nothing on me, boo. That's the case. You can switch it up. Like, look. You know, he's got episodes that he's dealing with because of the. He got songs coming out from Drake talking about Kiki, a Do You Love Me, all kinds of stuff. TV show that was being filmed, their Ray entire J. relationship. Come on, man. Her her whole come up was on film, was was televised. And then she got with Kanye. Why Kanye knew she was on that level. And you can kind of say, you can kind of blame Kanye on that part, but hey, still. Even after that, I've heard of many rumors that Kanye was unhappy with the way she was like taking photos and he asked her numerous times, be easy. Oh, just on like the, offset? Yeah, he's basically same thing. Be easy on that. You don't need to do that no more. You don't need all your nits yeah. and bits out. Yep, exactly. And then she was like, she didn't like that. She didn't like the fact that he wanted her to to, to cover up a little bit more. It's fashion. <laughs> you sound like her, man. That's scary. It's fashion. I can't stand that voice. That voice. It's real nasally. That it voice fair- irritates me, man. Does it? Please but don't, like, don't, 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 wait, don't, don't. We wait. About, we about to end this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out, bro. <laughs> Yo. Uh, so like, you don't find that? Oh, attractive man. you know what if you sound like this and you talk this the whole podcast you probably would have we probably would have a billion listeners just to listen to you talk and i'll be like yo cut that shit i'll be like man you got a you're real... doing this alone fam yeah you got a real hood brother on there with a girl from the valley like yo this is entertainment oh my god she can't talk he can't talk they both be messing up words oh man but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, I don't yeah. have that, I mean, not to say I had a, a heck of a lot of respect for her, but okay, so. I can respect let me, her, I let can, me hey, just I say can't this. respect her grind. I will always show somebody respect, but there might be things that that person does that I do not respect. Mm. So, it's not to say that I don't respect you as an individual because I will always show you respect. That's right. just not how I get down. And there's certain things that people do that I don't respect. Yeah. It's just like, whatever, that's trash. I mean, I, I see you for that and your your other actions. So it is what it is. But don't think I'm going to get disrespectful off rip unless you want to have that energy. And by all means, bring the smoke. Yeah, yeah no doubt. So I, I want to see, I, I don't want to see how that's going to play out. If it does come to fruition, mm-hmm. I want to see how they're going to spin that. Because if they're saying it's because of his episodes, that's trash. I'm yeah, sorry. I, take take your on. vows seriously, Kim, because this is what your third, third marriage, yeah. fourth marriage. I don't know. They I mean, bank, come on, on, you're not taking it seriously enough. The next time yeah. you say yes, and I do, make sure you're willing to change this dude's diapers yeah. and go through all of his mental episodes. Yeah, you're going to have to be with him. You're going to have to hold him down. you got to do what you got to do. If that's what you expect someone to do for you, you better be ready to do it right back. I don't yeah. care if you have enough money to hire a nurse or yeah. not. Well, exactly. 
Yeah, but still, it ain't going to stop nothing from Kanye grinding. He's still going to do his thing. I think she had to come up with him, too, though. Like, I think oh, he question. elevated her also. He no. put her on a different level. Her mm-hmm. whole family, I think, mm-hmm. elevated from Kanye. I'm not mm-hmm. even going to. I'm I'm not even gonna downplay that. They uh, all came up after being associated with Ye. Yeah. Like uh, he took up. all of you guys to a different level. Uh, that's true, man. At least from real, where I'm standing. Talk. Hey, you can't from my side out, of the street. All them outbursts that he was saying got him that deal with Adidas. Man, that's all I'm gonna say because he was talking reckless. Like I'm broke. I ain't his got fashion, no money. I'm broke. His I ain't fashion got... line. He said everything, and then shortly after, he said he said all that. He got a tax return for like twenty five or fifty million dollars in his tax return, and then after that, he went and he got the deal with Adidas, and now my brother already worth a billion dollars. And his fashion line. Hey, he's the second. We he said he's sec- I'm the second richest man in America. I was like, I don't know how true that is. But right on, yay. If that's the case, black man, second second richest black man in America. I'm like, that's the case, big dog. Okay, hey man, that's B D E right all there. All I want to, all I want to see yay do for real, real B-D-E. talk. B D E. Oh yeah, but all I want to <laughs> say, I ain't, I ain't saying all that about yay. Like you know, that's something. That ain't, that ain't nothing I would say. When you say that, that is totally that nah, attitude. Nah, nah, nah. I know, <clears throat> but. Yeah. Like you saying you're going to end the podcast is definitely BDE too. No, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a button though. <laughs> Click. We gone, y'all. <coughs> It'll be the first episode and I end the episode. Like, all right, y'all. <laughs> we done. <laughs> yeah. But Aloha. Boy, I will make you say that again. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah but anyway, <laughs> rounding it off. Oh. Y'all go back and listen to episode four in vetting a mate and make sure y'all know when you're looking for someone who you are getting involved with. Take Straight the time up, to get to know them, ask the right questions. And if they go to meet your parents, your folks, your friends, your coworkers, don't tell them to act any differently then they are. Yeah, they gotta be themselves. Yeah, I, I can say, I can say with that's me, the worst thing to censor them or censor their behavior, because if they don't like who you like, they have to deal with that. You know what? One thing I I do gotta say real quick. I know we wrapping it up. One thing that I noticed that I do for sure, yo, I think I sound like I was from Baltimore. Do you? <laughs> one thing I do. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Baltimore too. And but, the wire. Yeah. But uh um, great TV show. Uh dang, now I got it stuck in my head now. What was I saying, man? One thing oh. that you do with censoring, maybe? Uh no, 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 no. What was you I You said at? one thing that you do and I was talking oh, about. Oh, you're talking censoring. we're talking about well, yeah, we were talking about like parents stuff. Yeah. One thing that I that I noticed that I do with uh with my folks in particular. Is I am myself the same way I am with my wife and, and the kids and all that. I am the same, but I I don't curse in front of my folks. So I don't know if that's technically considered to be acting different. No, but that's I a do notice thing. I don't do that in front of them out of respect. So I don't curse in front of my folks out of respect. They might have heard me say that, you know, damn a few times. But damn, my parents ain't never really heard me curse like that. Do so. they listen to this podcast? Yeah, but I still ain't cursing like crazy. <clears throat> I say a few words in there, but I ain't saying nothing crazy. Um, but anyway, I do that out of respect. So I, I always thought about that. Like, man, am I acting different when I do that? But I was like, oh, no, I'm no, just showing the them respect. So you're I'm still very much the same person same in person. front of absolutely everybody, which is yeah. great. I hate being with somebody. And then you see them act differently and you're like, who the hell is this? <laughs> like, I don't know this person. Like, yeah. that makes me feel weird. Like, I don't I do not do that. What do you mean? You do it all the time. <laughs> right? I see you do that every day. Or you, what do you see mean? them you like, and that. they're just do way that. more outgoing. And it's just uh, like, I can understand the shyness, 
but like the 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 more outgoing, the more life of the party, Man, and it's hey, like, no, where I is see, this coming I, from? You know what's so funny? I saw that happen when <laughs> Kaya went to uh, Florida with us that first time, <laughs> and we was at the at the parks, and then she she got a chance to do all this stuff. She was so turned up. <laughs> I said, "Hey, come here." We both, me and you both, was like. You don't never act like this. <laughs> you need to chill. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, for but we real, did, you we, was we a were thousand. on a lack of sleep. So, oh, I mean, our perception might Her been voice off. was changing. I'm like, yo, who, hold up. Yeah, man. who is this child? Who are you? Her voice <laughs> took a whole nother pitch. She sounded like she was two years older than what she was. Yeah, I was like, yo, yeah. you. But your <laughs> uncle did have to set us straight, though. Yeah, your, he was you, like, yo, uncle, you got to understand. You got to understand. Y'all, yeah. Mike's uncle, Dexter, yeah. he has the best conversation he dropping, ever. He be dropping jewels, man. man bombs. Yeah. Like, he be dropping knowledge bombs. <laughs> and it's just, in, but so he had told us, he was like, hey, I mean, if I was her age, and I was in the middle of Disneyland or Disney World for the first time, I'd be losing my mind too. <laughs> and we were just like, you right, you right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so shout out Uncle Dexter, y'all. Yep. He is one of a kind, genuinely. Yeah, but man. overall, yeah, I I don't I don't like that. So people acting funny, acting different. Right. Don't don't censor your mate. Don't censor it. Right them if they're going on a job interview best advice you can give them be yourself because right. if they don't like you and you have to pretend to be somebody else the entire time you are at work you're going to come home exhausted yeah. and then you're going to resent the job right and that in turn happens to your relationship too if they need yeah. to censor themselves around you or that, your folks that's a, so. good, that's a good point you just said too and i don't I, know I, and i kind of worry i kind of think about that too because I've always been like a chameleon. When I meet different personalities, I change in the way I interact with them. And I wonder <laughs> if I'm just not being authentic enough. I think if I was just... I wonder what would happen, though, success-wise for me, if I was just me 100% <laughs> at I don't, the job. Okay, so... Like at every kind of... You know what I'm saying? No matter what the position is, I go in there like, yeah, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> what's, what's happening? How y'all doing? All right, cool. And I'm talking to them just like, you know, everybody would want to be your friend then. So I mean, yeah. I then you, to. then you wouldn't be able to just slip in and out. Yo, You're and, not and, really and, trying and, to bro, be noticed I don't, at work, I, man. At work, I fly <laughs> underneath the radar. Yeah, because if you try to do the bare minimum to get by, and everybody likes you, everybody gonna be coming to talk to you. Everybody gonna be in your business. Nah, and I, don't, and I, you know what? I don't even know for real. I don't think I, I got a system. And it always kept me straight for the most part. It was just, so go to work. Don't get too close to people at work. Just, you know, hey, what's up? Kiki, laugh a little bit. But be focused about your job because can't nobody say nothing about you. They All they can say is, he don't ever talk. Yep, but I'm here. I'm working though, ain't I? <laughs> Fact. The boss know I'm here. He like, right. well, he ain't talking. He ain't supposed to talk. He's supposed to be working. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, fam. I come right. in there. I get up out of there. You ain't never hear anybody get fired because they're, they're, they ain't conversating <laughs> they with ain't everybody in the office. They, ain't they just come you. in and do their job. They don't really say much. Man, I mean, that was my focus. Fire him. My that focus. Don't work. People got to know me and... They was like, oh, dude, you mad cool. I'm like, yeah, what you thought I was going to be? <laughs> you don't never talk. I'm like, because I'm just here to work. I ain't here to make no friends like with everybody. But, you know, if I run across <laughs> people that's cool, it's cool. But usually I don't hang out with nobody outside of work. But there are a lot of people, they make most of their friends is people they work with. Yeah, I can't. And that's not me. I, I gotta I like, have a vibe with you. If yeah. I don't vibe with you, if you don't make it to my Facebook, oh, then there vibe. is no chance we're hanging out yeah, in, we gotta, in, we gotta in real vibe. life. We gotta, yeah, we gotta vibe hard, man, yeah. for, for anybody to rock, for me to rock with them outside of work. I had a couple partners, man, that I, I met at work. And me too. It was cool, but. Me too. But you don't, you don't <laughs> necessarily, your chameleon isn't you, how you act. Your chameleon is more so how you handle people. You yeah. know, you limit yourself for that person. So if this person is acting funny, you limit their access to you. You don't yeah. change who you are. So That's true. it's not your character that changes. You just yeah, kind of interact with people right. differently. 
But I was still, <coughs> yeah, that's true. Ooh, that's true. Lord. But I do put on the call center voice though. I used to work at the call center. I had yeah. to put that voice on. Like, what was month. that? What was that movie called that we watched? Oh, uh, what he had the white the white guy uh, yep. voice. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was funny. But yeah, I used to have to put that voice on all the time. Yeah. I still kept my, t- you know, my my sternness on the phone, but I still had to, you know, kind of like act like I was smiling through the phone, all that crap. Oh, yeah. Act like you're smiling through the phone. I was like, hey, okay. <laughs> 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 all right, man. But yeah, so. All right, y'all. Anyways, uh, was that it? That was that was it? Yeah, we had already did that. We already man. talked about everything else. We and we just wrapped it, everything up, man. Cause we, man, we was doing the podcast at like damn near one in the morning, yo, and the joint ended. So we had we had a lot of stuff that that we had kind of dug into, but you know, we'll still address we're giving some you guys the things. flash round, which is still exactly. a decent flash. Oh, round. Oh yeah, no doubt. We still it's over still a decent hour. round. You still guys still got some gems and jewels dropped on you. Yeah, no doubt. And um, we're going to have some more. We're going to put the... And y'all just got to bear with me on these videos because it's a lot more work involved. And not even that I didn't expect it. I just... It's a longer download It's time. just a lot more. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm used to doing the videography stuff, like, with the music videos and stuff like that. So, syncing the audio is easy with that because the song is already done. But because we're doing a podcast and the way I'm going about recording everything. He's a perfectionist. Bruh, it's like syncing the audio. And then if I got parts where I mess up on my words or I mess up something in the podcast, I got to cut it out. And then it just makes it harder to cut the video to match the audio. It's so, all good. Details, yeah. details. Yeah, honey. yeah. Details, details. But y'all, it's Our all good, Our people will man. get it. Yep. Y'all going to get it, man. And, uh, you know, hopefully y'all enjoy that. And, Just remember uh, the camera it, adds about 10, 20 pounds. <clears throat> yeah, I look like a little chipmunk in the face. Oh, this yeah. This last episode. My fa- I think I need episode. too much rice. Don't look at me and say you're eating too much rice. I eat too much rice, fam. Yeah, I gave you the option for non rice or brown rice. So. Yeah, you know, but it don't take nothing about a week of it eating wasn't, rice. And I'll it wasn't me putting up. the fork to your mouth, sir. But I've been, I've been trying to, you know, get my workout on too, y'all. So. Oh, well, beach bodies are made <laughs> in the winter, y'all. So we about to come out of quarantine and winter with beach bods. Yeah, we're gonna be on point. But, you guys uh, might get some videos and pictures before that though, just to uh, see yeah, the progress. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no doubt. But anyway, you wanna <laughs> uh I guess we wrapping it up, y'all. Appreciate all of our listeners and followers. Uh remember y'all can get us, you know, on Facebook, uh we random T V. I think, right? We random. I always say this every every time. It's at We Random. At We Random. And We oh. Random TV on YouTube. Yep. And on Instagram. Yep. And then you can hit us up through email with any questions, comments, product promotions at oh, We right. Random Live at gmail.com. Yep, yep. You can listen to us on majority of the platforms now Apple, Google, Spotify, a few other smaller ones. And YouTube. Yep, 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 yep. So we're going to keep it rolling. This is episode 10. And uh, also, man, if if there's anybody out there that's needing music, beats, all that good stuff, uh, songs for commercials, all that good stuff, um, you can hit me up also at Izzo on the beat uh, at gmail.com. <clears throat> or you can go to the website, Izzo on the beat.com. And there's also my Instagram and all that good stuff for that as well. So that's the other side to it. And uh, my beautiful wife's Instagram. Savannah Savannah. 808 Smiles. Yup, yup. You can follow her on there. And uh, Izzo on the beat. Yeah, yeah. Is on Facebook as well as Instagram. Oh, yeah. Appreciation to all of our listeners who are reposting our podcast on their stories to y'all are the bestest ever in the dang world, y'all. Appreciate it. Continue to share, like, subscribe, share, share, share. We really, really appreciate it. Um, You guys are giving us... The promos and the props. Y'all are amazing, beautiful yeah. people. Shout yeah. out to my friends who are doing that as well. Y'all are really the real MVPs out here. Yep, yep. And I'm thinking, man, what we might do on this next episode is kind of give you guys some 
Maybe we can start dropping some game on certain things that we do. Like, how do we get the podcast started? Maybe, you know, we can start doing that at some point. Like, what 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 can some other people do to do it? How can they do it on a budget? If y'all are interested, you know, please hit us up if you want to hear those types of tips, information, especially yeah. building tips because... Y'all can see is those talented. Oh no, don't do that. Decorating y'all. tips. Y'all do can that. hit me up Deco- too. Yeah, decorating tips. We might tips, be able to help that. y'all with a consulting for free. Yep, yep. And yep. for the low. Yep, yep. Now, my skills are all right. They all right now. I ain't no carpenter, but uh, <laughs> I get by. So you know, if Stop you want being to, so modest. You want that? I get by hookup. Yeah, I'll let <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Boy. He's being modest, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, anyway, mahalo for listening and supporting. We wish y'all health, wealth, and blessings. Aloha. Whoa.